All right, here we go. Could possibly be the last one. Last part of this playthrough, maybe, if we're not able to hold back Dome Jewel's advance. Okay, so last time, Dong Zhu was able to wipe out Yuan Shao. After we put in so much work, so much work. <laughs> Captured these villages, assaulted the city. Uh, we were right on the cusp of capturing it. And uh, at the very last moment, Lu Bu sallied forth and completely obliterated my forces. And Dong Zhou was just able to capitalize on that. So, let's see. He's got some soldiers here and we need to be able to take the city if possible. I've gotten in here with 8,000 soldiers. So, what I'm hoping to do is just assault the city and hopefully capture it before he's able to funnel all these soldiers in and amass all his troops together. Hopefully I can do just that. Um, these are pretty much all the soldiers I have. This 8K right here is all I have to spare. I'm hoping that that's enough. But it's going to be close. It's really going to come down to Ganning's ability to set off his tactics. I totally forgot to set him as an adjutant so I could take advantage of his abilities. I'm going to try to do that now, but... It's going to take so long, I think the battle's already going to be decided. So let's see. We'll go ahead and set him. It's going to be 30 days until I have control over Ganning's tactics. So it might be decided by then, but all we can do at this point is charge in, try to do as much damage as we can, and hope that Gong Zun Jang decides to join in on this assault here. But, uh,. I don't know, because he's had a pretty big grudge against me for capturing Bei Ping. So he might just attack me instead. Sometimes the AI is just, you know, they're going to go after the player. Even if there's a better target available. And historically, between my faction, my uh, warlord, and Gong Zun Jang, uh, there's a bit of a rivalry here. Gong Zun Zhang's the guy who put this guy down uh, when he rebelled. So, I honestly don't know if that's playing a factor into it or if I took the city. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it's that intricate. He's not listed as an adversary. But, um, sometimes just because they're not listed, that doesn't mean that they're automatically hostile. You know, we've seen in other games. Uh, older games from this uh, from uh, this franchise before that some officers are just hostile towards each other and that's the end of it so so yeah that's the plan we're going to try to take that city or at least inflict as many casualties as we can and hope that Gong Zun Jiang helps us and hopefully we can't take the city because Yuan Chao's whole officer corps was captured when he took that city so he's got a lot of prisoners there and if he's able to recruit those officers he'll have enough officers to really establish himself up here
では参りますTell them to assault the city. Let's see how it goes. It looks like some of these soldiers are staying behind to build the music tower. That's fine by me. If they want to stay in the field and not reinforce the castle, that is just fine. I just need to very quickly start attacking this castle with whatever I have. Casualties are very high. Gokakunin Kurasai. Should have had some gold handy here. That's unfortunate. We really should have had some gold handy so that I could have some suggestions. So I could carry out some subterfuge or some reinforcements or something, but I don't have the money to even make some for my uh, advisors to even recommend something to be able to help here. I would, I would really need like a reinforcement suggestion to go off here so I can reinforce Ganning's unit. Um, so I'm just going to search and try to save the cash and hope that next turn, next turn I have enough cash. Hopefully the transport arrives. It looks close, but it's just so slow. Let's see. Okay. It's actually not telling me how many days it's estimated to arrive at. That's... Strange. I know there's a way to find out. Okay, well, we'll just hope that it arrives. Okay, two more turns and we'll have a tactic ready. I'm just gonna turn this on so that he goes ahead and uses the first tactic. I'm hoping that he uses his best tactic because that'll do a ton of damage. Oh, he used volley. He used his, arguably his weakest tactic. Okay, he's just taking tons of losses, losing so many soldiers. This is not looking good. So we're going to need a reinforce option here. He's got 9,000 more coming up. That's going to be enough to drive me away, if that wasn't clear already. It's crystal clear now. Okay, there's a reinforcement. That's what we needed. So we'll go ahead and send Ganing those extra 3,000. Uh, we'll decrease Pangday's morale. Pangday's uh, bringing the backup unit. And we're just going to try to do whatever we can to... Hopefully, uh, incentivize Gong Zun Jang to head over here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to see if we can get on his better side. And maybe we can focus on something else than each other finally. But I don't know. It's been five years of game time. Uh. Five years of game time just to take uh, one city. Pretty slow pace. Horrendously slow. And uh, all I've done is just war with Gong Zun Jang the whole time. Pretty much so. I don't think he's going to be willing to bury the hatchet anytime soon, but we'll see. 
you never know. I mean, it's AI, so you never know. Okay, reinforcements are there. Dang, Day's just blistering fast. Oof. He's already there, he's already engaging. Move one. Okay, so the barbarians are advancing towards Beiping now. Again. Oof. So we can reinforce gunning again. Honestly, this looks like a lost cause. It already looks bad, but... He's got 7,000. He's gonna get 2,000. And the real threat... It's... I mean, it's not necessarily that he's got... That he's gonna be able to get all these soldiers stacked here. The real problem is that he's got all these prisoners, all these officers. Everybody from Yuan's force is here, it's captured. Look at this list. Lu Bu, I mean... Twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five... Over twenty officers. And that's the reason we need to contend the city. That's the main reason. It's because with all these officers up here, he's going to be able to really fund some operations in the north here. And he's, he'll be able to fight everybody all at once. Once he uh, assimilates those officers into his core force. Now we can try to poach a few. We can try to recruit a few ourselves from him. But, um, you know, not all. He, he doesn't need to get all 20-something officers. He only needs to get about 10 of them to stick with him. That's all he needs. That'll be more than enough for him to steamroll everybody up here. So I don't know. I, I really kind of just want to send the reinforcements anyway. And get got enough to 6,000. Even though I feel like it's a losing effort at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and start moving some soldiers as fast as I can. Okay, I need to give him a title. I'm gonna go ahead and start moving more soldiers to the front. Give him a promotion so he can carry a few more troops. And he's going to go ahead and march out these 6,000 soldiers as quickly as he can. Yeah, it's probably not a good idea, but I'm gonna go ahead and reinforce. I'm gonna go ahead and reinforce. We're gonna send Ganing those extra and another three thousand. And we're gonna deploy Zhang He here to drive off these barbarians again.
出陣する Only 800 soldiers at a time. Probably should have developed the barracks a little bit more, but honestly, my mind was on taking out Yuan Shao before anybody else did, and I was very sure I was going to be able to do it until he deployed Lu Bu with just a handful of soldiers, really, and he was able to obliterate my yeah, army. Yeah, and uh, I really underestimated the AI's willingness to deploy. An officer with such few troops, I think he deployed Lu Bu with about 2,000 or 3,000 soldiers. Um, not too sure how many it was because he wiped out my forces in the blink of an eye. It was so quick. I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, tactic as soon as it starts here. I'll pause. Oh, a duel. Okay, well this could turn everything around. Ganning might be able to win. And not only win, he might be able to injure Peng Day. Actually, Peng Day has heroic. I don't know if that prevents him from being injured. Or if that gives him a buffer. In By a sliver by the tiniest margin but he lost it and he's been injured okay I'm gonna have him injure Pang Day here apply disorder if he can and just get out of there at this point his injured morale has plummeted because he's lost the duel and he really needs to go. Uh, it doesn't look like he's gonna get to. Looks like the whole unit's been wiped out. Okay, he's not gonna be willing to work with us at all. So he'd rather see us both go down at this point. Understandable. Yeah, Ganning's injury was too much. It really lowered the stats of the unit. Okay, so Dong Zhou's approaching Big Ping. He's probably Dong Zhou's probably gonna start taking over the territories here. can't really respond to that can't really deploy anymore this is just gonna force me back on the defensive and uh, yeah with these officers now that he's gonna be able to recruit those officers um, he's really gonna be able to establish himself up here Whereas before, he hardly had any officers up here. You know, he's got about 10 here, 10 here, uh, just one here. But now he's going to be able to really uh, redistribute them along these cities, especially his front cities. And he'll be able to build up very quickly. He'll easily outpace anybody else up here. So we're, our backs are up against it now. It all came down to that duel. You know, that duel could have really turned things around. I know it didn't look like it, but it could have. 
he could have easily injured Pang Day, and it would have gone the other way. Or even killed him. Okay, we're gonna need to develop the barracks. I mean, we're gonna need soldiers now. Golden soldiers, but we're mostly gonna need soldiers. It doesn't seem like Gong Sun Jiang has any interest in what Dong Zhuo is doing, he, so he might instead march against me also. That duel was so close, just by the barest margin. Oh, I need to remember to do that auto search. Okay, we're gonna have Shen He take this guy out. この兆候の力だ。ここまでですね。Okay, passed away. Guan Yu's taking over. Ooh, he's inheriting the position. Reporting. Okay, I have no idea what this is. Anxi. I think Anxi is Parthia. I believe this is a reference to Rome. So Rome and Parthia are fighting. Okay, I'm not sure if that's how that affects I'm not sure how that would affect the happenings in in China per se but one of the new features of the PUK is that you can trade with nations that were historically around uh, around China during this time so that would be Rome uh, Parthia, I'm not sure who's in the north. India, I believe, is one of them. But yeah, the report saying that they've begun battling. Um, if I'm understanding that correctly, I'm not sure how that affects us here. Well, that's, kind of, that's kind of interesting. I wonder if that's good. If any impact. If I'm even going to notice the impact, because, I mean, I'm all the way out here, in the middle of nowhere, on this little corner, so... That might mean something to the... to the actual power players of the day here. But that might not mean much for... for us over here. Okay, so we've got a few... we've got a few troops coming in. All we can do is defend. Try to build up. Try to hold off. Try to hold off what's looking like the inevitable at this point. I don't think... Uh... Gonna have 14k. He's got zero troop income for some reason. I don't... I'm assuming that means that He's not recruiting right now. So his troops aren't going to go up in this city yet. Yeah, there's no recruitment overseer. It's staring me right in the face there. I was looking at troop income. He's got 20 prisoners in this city. So... What I can try to do is I can try to build up and just harass him. Keep coming down from the coast. Keep taking back those cities.
So if you keep just coming down this coast right here, as long as I don't lose the port, which I very, very well might, just work my way down, land, keep taking the cities back, and try to harass him. But nothing's really changed in terms of my economy from earlier. It's still a very, still going to be very difficult to sustain sustain that strategy and it's going to expose me to Gong Zun Jang you know with Gong Zun Jang refusing to you know even have a ceasefire then every time I leave my shores I'm just just opening myself up to an attack so it's double work at this point I mean I could sit back and let him take over and consolidate but by the time he marches against Gong Zun Jang, I'm going to be in a position. He's going to be so strong, I'm not going to have any say in it. You know, if he gets strong enough where he can wipe out Gong Zun Jang, then I'm next and that's it. So I need to move now. So once I get these soldiers over here, we're going to send out another party. And we're going to try to just... Make a little noise. Okay, so he's not accepting it. Unfortunately, he's not going for it, so... Go figure. So we're really up against it at this point. gonna get Yuan Chao's core here unless we do something about it but I really don't have the soldiers uh, once these men get here I'll march south and I'll see if I can harass him a little bit on this coast but uh I don't think I'm gonna be able to impact them too much and with my neighbor here who's incredibly hostile towards me and he's got even more soldiers than I do so Tough. It's a two-way fight here, really. Just taking all of my villages here and last but not least is probably going to be the port
ご確認くださいでは向かうとしよう。Gunning is wounded, but you're losing that duel, so I can't send him out just yet. He needs time to recuperate. Yes, I, I titled it the bitter end because yeah, it's looking like um, oh wow, we have one of Yuan Shao's top officers is asking to join. Okay, that's great. This is one of my personal favorite officers. Definitely accept him into the force. Both Yuan Chao's top officers. Wow, his other top officer. Yuan Chao is coming over here now. Oh, this is great. Tano, Mzee. Well, we might be able to make some noise here. Hold on. We just got a, two amazing officers. Just gifted. Clearly, the game's taking pity, and they're throwing us a bone for sure. Uh, did it say Ganning is near death? No, I th he's just injured. So. He fought a duel against Pan Bei and lost and was injured. And he is still injured. <laughs> so he's on the mend right now. Jenki and just try to drive him off. Although he may not stick around anyway. But things are looking up here. We just got two of Juan Xiao's best officers that joined us. Yang Liang and Wen Chao. We have a good core. We just don't have the territory. We just need territory. We need time to build up here. It might be too little, too late, unfortunately. I think it might be too late. 
Which sucks because those are two of my favorite favorite officers to have in this game. In the series really. But look at all that. I mean Dong Zhuo's got the center. He's got the northwestern half. It's just gonna be too much. I think. I don't know, we'll see. I don't know if it's insane. I mean, it's just that's Dong Zhuo in the early scenarios in every game. He has the potential to snowball. And um, if you play as a small force and you're too slow, like I was, it was just it took me just too long to get out of this corner and get going. Then you're gonna fall behind. Go There's Yuan Shao's top strategist. We'll see if we can bring him aboard also. Yeah, I've never I've never heard of anyone wanting to join the sinking ship, but uh, that's what seems to be happening. Everyone's getting aboard the uh, the Titanic right now. We're going to send some officers back over here. We'll try to develop our back our back city a little bit more. Itte mairo. And for anybody wondering, this is the one of the DLC scenarios, the Wavering Khan. So it is right after the Yellow Turban Rebellion, but right before the anti Dongjuo Coalition. So that's where it starts. I think the year is 187. Okay, so let's see what's going to happen here. We've got three different forces. One's withdrawing, one's advancing, and I'm just trying to get my city back. Okay, we just got Yuan Shell's top strategy. All right. Wrong. We're gonna go ahead and try to snag another city. I'm gonna go after uh, Dong Zhuo's Gao Yang right here. And I'm also gonna send another unit. Ganning is still not healed. I really want to use Ganning on the water. You know, if I'm gonna send a unit down here, down the water, to harass, I'd prefer it to be Ganning. He has um, Navy experience, but he's injured. So we're gonna send somebody else. He hasn't amassed too much power yet up here, so I'm just going to try to keep him off balance. 
You know, if I can successfully have two units on the field, kind of constantly marching, I will do that. So right now we're gonna have uh, one unit come down here, and we're gonna have Zhang He come down here. And we're just gonna try to see if we can get him to split his forces. It'd be much easier to have him split his forces, and we can cut him, pick, uh, cut him down piecemeal. Okay, we're gonna have to send another transport, another incredibly slow transport. I know I keep harping on it, but transports are so slow. And you really feel that when you're when you're playing as a starting force that's kind of isolated, you really feel that. Because you need you need your stuff. You can build up your city, but you need your stuff right away and then it just takes so long. I mean look at this relay point. Uh, 47 days just to get to this town here. You know, 47 days. Look out! Twinkie, thanks for following. Um, hope you enjoy the hope you enjoy the content. If this is your first time watching, uh, just know that my first video I didn't have any audio at the time. But starting with part two, I've got some, you know, that's when I start talking and stuff, you know, who me ramble about, on about uh, the happenings in this game. You might be joining at the tail end of this run. <laughs> so, cool. just so you know. You might be joining at the tail end of this run because if we're not able to make any noise here, if we're not able to turn this around with against Dong Zhuo, uh, that's going to be it. Yeah, we already missed the window for the anti Dong Zhuo coalition. And I think the thing that stopped that, same, uh, that event from going off was uh, South Cao was eliminated. South Cao was eliminated before Yuan Shao was. I want to say about a year before he was. And if you remember, uh, South Cao was the one who initiated the coalition. You know, he comes up with the idea, he forges the documents, he creates the uh, imperial uh, forgery documents that, that tricks everyone else into believing that the emperor has ordered a coalition. We're gonna try to go for this city here. Well, I still have the supply line that's connecting me from when I lost it. We're gonna try to land here. And we're gonna send Zheng He down this way. And I'm hoping that Dong Zhuo just splits his forces and gets, and gets caught. Because both of these guys are pretty good. They're excellent A-tier officers. So he's gonna need A-tier to match me on both fronts. So. If one arm, if, if one side loses, and we're hoping that the other side wins. And that's all we need to do. We need to just stay on the offense. Not really on the offense, but we need to fight this guerrilla, guerrilla battle while we build up. And we also need Gong Zun Jang not to harass us. Okay, I checked my reward screen almost compulsively because you need to... Officers' loyalties drop. They just drop and drop and drop in this game every other month. So you need to check it all the time. I mean, the, the computer doesn't really... Uh, the AI doesn't really poach your officers too much, but... Cool. 
at least on normal, uh, which this is normal difficulty for anybody wondering. I know on hard difficulty, which is what I used to play, uh, believe it or not, even though it doesn't look like it. I'm sure it doesn't look like it, but I used to play on hard back when I was playing this game a lot uh, last year, before I heard the PUK was coming out. Oh. And the computer does try to poach your officers pretty aggressively on hard. But right now, they don't seem to. But it's still a good idea just to reward your officers all the time. All the time. If you can afford it, just keep them above 90. Okay, so it looks like we're looks like we're playing uh, musical chairs here. We're going around in circles. He's going for my town while I'm going for his. I'm gonna go ahead and let him take it, and I'm and I'm just gonna keep marching forward, and I'm just gonna start backpedaling as soon as I capture it. We're gonna capture it and then come right back. I don't think our supply line will be broken because we still have two hexes here. So we should be alright. And it's, he's crossing the mountains. High mountains. It's going to take him longer than me. I'm going downhill. You see the terrain. Terrain's a big factor in this game. You have, to, you have to really consider it when you're marching. In terms of your marching speed and your formation. Um, I don't know if anybody out there has figured out the stats but um, for the terrain specifically and how they hamper you I'm just kind of going by gut feeling but if anyone knows please leave me a message or PM me on my uh, PSN account because I'm very curious to know specific the specifics of the terrain effect but I just know right now going downhill that's gonna be a lot faster than going uphill so I'm going to be able to go down here and I should be able to start working my way back up just as he's getting there. Even though his formation's faster than mine, he's an arrow. 23 maneuver. I'm only 14. I'm 10 points lower. So, now while he's doing all this, while he's going up here, we're going to capture this village and if we can, we're going to try to capture him coming back home. So we're going to try to catch him in a pincer one way or another here. Speaking of this scenario, actually, I think Dong Zhuo still has red hair. He does, so I'm not going to be able to capture him. Oh, goodness, he's got Hex Mark, he's got Liu Bei's Force. He's got all the swords here. He's got all the spoils. He's got all the spoils of war here. He's, got a, he's, he's walking around with the whole trophy room. He's got a portable wagon just for his trophies, his conquest trophies. So I'm not going to be able to capture Dong Zhuo, that's a shame. If I could capture him and execute him, it, it might really destabilize his whole empire. And the reason he has red hair is because, timeline-wise, Lubu hasn't been bought off. Uh, in the novel, Lubu is gifted red hair as part of a deal to come over to Dong Zhuo's side. I'm sure everybody knows. But it is a little thing to keep in mind. Lubu does not have red hair, which means Lubu is capturable. Um, I almost caught him in part 3. I had him stranded on the ocean, right here on the shores, surrounded on three sides, but he still managed to get away. Okay, don't you always abandon his plan. He is coming to save his town instead. Oh no, he's coming for my unit. Okay. 
That is just fine. I will take him up on that. Okay, so again, while Gong Tung Jan's complacent, while Gong Tung Jan's complacent and he's building up, we're gonna keep uh, taking risks here, and I'm just gonna keep focusing on Dong Zhuo. Uh, if Gong Tung Jan decides to join in at any time, hopefully he joins in and assaults Dong Zhuo. But I'm gonna keep pushing for forward with Zhang He. I wasn't expecting. I wasn't expecting this development at all. I was just expecting to retake my town, but the opportunity has come up, so we're just gonna keep taking his towns. We're gonna keep heading this way. And this is what I mean about sending a unit down the coast and sending a unit through this valley here. I wanna split up his forces before he can build them up, and I wanna make him choose where you're gonna go. And we're just gonna put, you know, wherever he's not, we're gonna make sure that we have a unit there. Now, once Gong Tung Zheng decides to deploy, if he deploys against me on force, then I'll have to abandon his plan and run back home. But until he does that, uh, we're just gonna focus on Dong Zhuo. He's just too much of a threat. Okay, we're low on. We're low on gold. I'm gonna sell a little bit of gold. Ganing is still injured. It's been quite a while and he is still injured. Oh, okay, let's see what happens. Hopefully, uh, Wen Chao gives a good account of himself here against Dong Zhuo. Okay, Dong Zhuo is hitting harder. It's like a duel. An ability. Great. That was crucial. Okay, he's in trouble now. Okay, so we're gonna eliminate Tong Zhuo here. We're gonna push on and capture the village. We're gonna capture this village here and if he doesn't react at all we might assault the city you know we're just gonna camp here we're gonna we're gonna take these territories it looks like he's trying he's busy he's caught up advancing against uh, Ding, Ding Yuan uh, Lu Bu's first adopted father and Ding Yuan's given a good account of himself. He's going to be able to hold them off for a while. Gates are very tough to take without siege weaponry. He's got a guy there, but this is this guy is not... He's not a great uh, core officer. So, hopefully he can hold them off. Keep him busy for a while. And that'll allow me to work over here. Because that's what I need. I need time to put in work over here. Dosa. I really wish I had a few more soldiers. I've been saying that this whole playthrough, but... I'm sure that's the standard when you're playing this game. It's just, you're just always... You can never have enough soldiers. Okay, I had sent some officers here a while ago. We're just going to assign them. I should have assigned them a while ago, actually. I totally forgot. 
We're gonna start spamming barracks. We'll just have to be careful with supplies. Wakata. Yeah, we'll, we'll just spend all the cash. All the cash on food. That's fine. Okay, we're looking pretty good. It was looking pretty dark. Looking pretty grim. Uh, when I first uh, booted up the file earlier, but it's, it's looking a lot better. We have a really good core of officers. We essentially have the core that we need to just take over the map. I mean, with these guys, with Ganing, with Yuan Shao's two best generals, with uh, two good intelligent advisors. You already, you have your core. You're set. You have your line up there. We just need the territory. We need the territory and we need the time to develop to develop it just a bit and we'll be able to easily start pushing everybody around. Okay, there's our first victory against Dong Zhuo in the field. We're gonna take these villages. If he doesn't march out, I might just assault the city. Just to keep those numbers down and non P. I don't want him to be able to sit there and feel like he can just recruit as he pleases. Okay, so okay, Gan. I mean, Zhang He. He can use fire arrows against the base. It's just not enough, unfortunately. I don't think we have enough to assault the city. He's got some units heading our way. Let's see if we can build here. Okay, we can build. So I'm going to go ahead and start building a tower. Just to harass him. So as he starts moving up here and focusing up here, I'll start if I if I have the time, I'll start building structures just so that he has to deal with that additional annoyance. search do auto search Muko. auto search saves you so much time you don't have to click everything individually anymore you can just delegate your order it's much better He's heading into the castle. Oh no, he's going around. He's going after Wen Chao. So I'm gonna go ahead and send Zhang He over there and give him a hand. どうした? I don't want him to get too close where he's going to be shot at. 
believe that's two hexes out. One, two, so that'd be about here. So he should be alright following his um, regular pathfinding route. So let's see. Okay, we're going to appoint some guys here to these new villages that we have. Even if we lose them, we want to paint the territories as much as we can. Even if we lose them. We want to pay them as much as we can because we want to slow down their ability to take them back and to actually make them useful again. Looks like plus 14 is the highest that I have. I have Lu Meng, but he's recruiting right now. Oh, here we go. We'll put Yang He there, even though he's on the field. Yarutoshimasho. And this way we can get some green on here. So when he takes it back, it's not just a matter of him sitting on his cities. He's also got to hold them long enough to paint these colors back. And that's what we want to do. Also, if Gonsun Jang does decide to invade, we're going to need as much green as we can to get out of here. Because we're going to have to cross the mountains. If he, if he decides to leave and attack the city, or come this way, I'm going to have to get out of his way. Because he's got more soldiers than me. And I'm not interested at, at, uh, in exhausting myself at Dong Zhuo's expense, fighting Gong Zhu Jiang. Not unless he's in my home turf. But if he wants to, if Gong Zhu Jiang wants to get involved, I'll get right out of his way. And he can go ahead. Okay, I need to do auto search. I'm so used to clicking. Even though we have the auto search feature now with the expansion. You cool. Okay, he's got a unit out here, but I'm pretty sure it's just gonna take the village and then come back, so that's not gonna do anything. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Jiang He should be able to get over there and quickly quickly wipe these guys out. Once again, another key attack. And he is going to be wiped out. And he's going to be captured, but I'm hoping that Zheng He will attack him and, and break him out of there. Here we go, we've got some green out there. I'm taking prisoner by Zheng by this guy right here. So we're gonna have Zheng He attack him and break Wen Chao out of his bonds. Make sure that he gets out of there. And then Zheng He is gonna go ahead and finish building the tower if he can. Let's see if we have any suggestions. Reinforce. Yeah, we'll go ahead and reinforce. We'll go ahead and reinforce Zheng He, even though there's a slight risk. There is a slight risk that he's going to get stranded. Mairo. Suggestions. Okay, that's it. There is a chance that Zheng He's unit might get stranded if Dong Zhuo does take this city here. He's going to be able to use Surround and Conquer against me. That's what that red exclamation is. Surround and Conquer would let him paint all this territory. Oh, he's deployed. He's deployed my child. That's going to be a problem. Okay, we're gonna have Zheng He attack and use his tactic very quickly against uh, Machao here and try to bring down his his troop number. 
before he takes too many casualties. Hopefully he can knock him out of this fight right away. 2000, okay, that, that's exactly what he needed to do. He's going to be able to beat both of these guys now. Okay, he's falling into disorder. Let's see if we have a suggestion to recover Zhang He's uh Zhang He's status. Pacify, okay, we'll try to pacify him. Oh okay, we're out of cash. Can we sell? Yes, we can. Okay, let's sell. We need some funds here. Okay, we'll try to restrain. Just to make sure he doesn't get away. Because he is about... He could duck out, and he's got Wen Chao as our prisoner, remember, so we need to restrain him, pull off the restrained subterfuge, and prevent his unit from running away so that he does get wiped out. And we also need to successfully get Zhang He's unit back into order, because he does have a debuff right now. His assault and his defense is low. Risky stuff right now. I mean, we're like, we're operating, but we're operating at bare bone capacity. I don't think this would even be possible on a higher difficulty. I think on a higher difficulty, Gong Zun Zhang would have already invaded and just uh, put it into these uh, to these little schemes that I'm doing to stay alive, to stay in this one. Okay. The proposal to help recover Zhang He has failed, so Zhang He's gonna stay in in this ray. So that's not good. And the proposal to restrain Zhang He has failed. So both our subterfuge tactics failed. So Zhang He might cut tail and run here with our prisoner. Five-star general. And he is. He's going to be able to get away. That's unfortunate. Okay, we were able to defeat Machao, but... He was able to get away, and he is taking uh, Wen Chao with him. I don't think we can bargain for his release until he returns to the castle. So we're just gonna have to wait. And we'll try to... We'll try to see if we can negotiate some type of release. Okay, and here comes Gong Zun Jang. He's deployed two units. Don't know where they're going yet. No idea where, the, where, these, where he's heading. I'm assuming he's heading south, but I don't know where Yuan Shang is heading right now. Either way, he's heading for me. I mean, if he goes this way, he's going to undo my supply route. And if he goes this way, it's bad either way. So, I'm going to go ahead and deploy some soldiers. and try to protect my territory. Let's see, sneak a little bit faster. It is not.
put an arrow. Okay, we're gonna have we're gonna send Ganning out here. Uh, in case he is heading towards the village. Even if he's not. Which he could just be building this wall, or maybe he just finished building it and he's heading back. I don't know, but I need to have a unit here. Because if he's heading this way, if he's heading south, again, Zheng He can be stranded very easily. So I need a unit out here just to be ready to rescue. To step in and help out and make sure that he gets out of there. He doesn't get captured like what Chao just did. You cool. Barrack, public order. Transport's finally, finally approaching. Better late than never, I guess. Okay, yeah, he's coming for our cities. As expected, Yuan Chang is just making a beeline. He's gonna undo all our supply network here. All this work, he's gonna undo it. Okay, is he done building this? He's not. We're gonna have to abandon it. We're gonna have to pull back here. And we're gonna have Ganning. Good thing I sent him out last turn. He's already here. We're gonna have Ganning follow Yuan Cheng and close in behind him. And Yuan Cheng's gonna be the one who finds himself surrounded. <laughs> you think he's gonna come in and surround, cut off Zhang He? I'm gonna surround him. Although, you know, now that I think on it, we could, uh... We could pull back and see if Yuan Chang assaults the city, but I highly doubt that that's what he's going to do. No, I'm not going to do that. That would be... That would be pretty stupid. I'd have to give up all of my gains here just to see if he's going to assault the city or not. And if he doesn't... Yeah, it would, it would be too silly. I'm going to have to fight him. I don't want to fight him. Because again, I'm just being bogged down. Fighting both of them. And it looks like this guy is also coming in. He's got 8,000 soldiers. So... If Gong Zun Yu is coming down here with 8,000 soldiers, if he's going to cross over and also join the fight here, then we are going to withdraw. We're going to have to. The choice is going to be out of my hands. I can take down Yuan Chang and keep my gains here, but I can't fight these 8,000. I mean, obviously, my numbers are just too low. Uh, with unleashing my tactics, using both my general's tactics, it would still be too close. I would just be exerting all my energy all my soldiers and we we just both end up exhausted so this is this is a tough spot 
I'm, I can't just, I can't break out of the deadlock. I cannot break out of the deadlock at all. Every time I get close, and I'm close, I got close with, I got close to taking down Yuan Chao. Now I'm close to taking down Dong Zhuo, and Gong Zun Zhang just keeps interfering. At the very last moment, he's always interfering. You cool. Okay, so we're, we're gonna play it out this turn then. Okay, so he's got the town. Is he gonna turn around or is he gonna keep moving forward? It looks like he's going back. Okay, I guess that was it. He's gonna... He's gonna leave after that, so we're gonna let him take the village. I'll let him keep it. I don't want to start a fight just yet. Uh, let's see if Ganin can build something here. Or can, I, can I build anything around here? Just all the way up here. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I'm going to have Ganing move back then. Zhang He is going to go ahead and finish building this tower. And once he's done, I'll reevaluate. Reevaluate. See what. See what happens. Uh, see if Kong Zun Zhang really is returning back to base or not. back on the drilling here to save a little bit of cash. Now he's got new orders. Okay, he's building on the territory. Okay, yeah, it looks like he is going to move in on my gains here. Uh, my advisor hasn't told me that he's attacking me specifically yet. Even though he's taking the territory, he's not heading towards Bay Ping. So we've built this tower here. Let's see if we can build another one. Close by. Okay, looks like we can. I'm gonna go ahead and build another one. And I'm gonna try to keep this little area under my control. And I'm just gonna let him have these areas. If he wants to take this area, that's fine. I'm gonna build the tower here and I'm gonna start heading back. Go ahead and march out some more soldiers quickly. Need a whole formation. Get another 4,000 on the way.
では参ります Okay, so we'll have 8k once these soldiers arrive. Probably more because it's going to be a while. So the situation is going to change. We're going to keep guarding here. He's just going to guard the way into our. towards Bay Pink. He's going to sit here. He's going to guard. He's going to watch. As long as we have the supplies for it, which we should. We have a lot of supplies. I'm actually going to sell just a few. Because down the road, I might need the gold. I might need to go to execute some suggestions down the road. So I want to have a little surplus set aside just for that. Just for the tricks. So we're going to watch and see. Hopefully he does keep... He barrels straight forward and evades Dong Jewel. And they can finally go at each other for a while because... Because I've been doing all the work here. <laughs> been doing all the work. Been trying to keep the... Trying to keep the power balance. Dong Zhuo's forces were unable to make any headway. Gates are very difficult to take in this game. Very difficult. Okay, all of Gong Zun Jiang's army is con uh, con consolidated here. It's all concentrated. There you go. See that instead. Easier for me. It's all concentrated here. <laughs> so we're gonna see what happens. I'm I'm hoping that he invades. I really hope he invades here. But I don't know. I'm gonna tell Zhang He to abandon building this here. It's not worth him risking getting captured over. So he's gonna go ahead and get out of here now. He's going to withdraw because I don't know if they're giving chase. I don't know if they're... Those forces are after me specifically. Because they're just arriving now. So they these forces here could be in response to when I was over here earlier. So they could have orders just to chase me down, to break the tower. I don't know. But I want to step out. I want to bow out at this point. And see if these guys will... Tangle with each other for a while. Give me an opportunity to build up. Decrease morale. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Decrease morale on both sides. I know it's a, it's a small thing. It's a neg negligible thing, almost. But um, any little thing will help. And if you have the cash, why not? Um, that's why I sold that food, so I could have a nice little surplus of cash. Okay, so let's see what happens. Let's see. I hope he doesn't turn north. I really hope he doesn't turn north. I hope he keeps advancing. Just keep advancing. Okay, here they go. They're standing off. Okay, there it is. Trying to do a trigger surround and conquer. That is going to strand my unit. That is going to strand my unit, but um, we're going to get out of there anyway. We're already far enough to where hopefully he won't be harassed and captured. Okay, look 
Okay, so let's see. Raise morale. We need to pacify. Let's do that. Let's pacify Zhang He's unit so he can get back here. Okay, these two forces are finally finally going to trade blows against each other. What a relief. I can sit back. I hope I can sit back. I, I don't want to jinx myself, but I hope I can sit back now. Okay, we need to start training again. Mm. See if I get a suggestion to uh, train there. Oh, not yet. Check our area government. Watch these two armies clash. Both, both of them should be pretty weakened after this. Pretty weakened. Oyorokobikudasai. Okay, that's great. So Zheng He's going to be able to get out of there. In one piece. Okay, and here they go. My Shang's about to be wiped out. There he goes. And I'm kind of glad that I put this, these arrow towers here because they are distracting Panday. If Panday was able to swing in and participate in this fight, this guy here would be long gone. He would have already been up against it. So we're going to let Zhang He return the base here quickly. He's only got 2,000 soldiers, but I need those 2,000 soldiers. I have other plans. So I need every man I can get. These 4,000 are still on the way. Morale's a little... It's at 86. It's probably going to be about 70. Okay, let's see here. What do we have? Employ. We have reward. Reward. Let's see if we can request the return of our um, prisoner return. Wen Chao. I doubt it, but maybe he will release him. We haven't. Oh, we don't have enough gold to even negotiate. We don't have enough gold to even walk through the front gate. Never mind having an audience with this guy. You need to be somebody. You need to be somebody if you want to negotiate with Dong Juo. It doesn't matter that you uh, that you beat him down in the open field. No, well, sir. Okay. Suggestions. We already did them. We have Confuse. We can try to confuse this guy. Where is he? Which one is he? He's got these 7,000. Okay, that might be worth doing. It's got a low success rate, but it's worth a shot. Okay, and then we'll auto-search. Try to find some gold. We also need to do our administration, but that can wait. So let's see if we can confuse this 7k. <laughs> we 
We got him. We forced him into this order. That's going to help out Kong Jun Jang. It's going to allow him to sustain just a little bit longer so that maybe he can get this guy over here to help him out. Attack on a unit. Okay. I don't know why you would do that. I don't, I don't recommend that. Gunning's going to wipe you out. This is disappointing. So Gong Jun Jang is just... He's just retreating? Using full retreat. Bang Dave's giving chase over here. But that's fine. They should be able to outpace him and get out of here. So we don't need the reward right now. Let's check the employee. A lot of officers are being released here. Uh, let's see who we can recruit. This guy would be crucial if we can get him for one reason, transporter. When leading a transport unit, maneuverability is increased. This guy would really help solve our transport woes if we can get him. He will speed up those um, supply runs that we're bringing from the back city. He will speed them up. So let's hope we can get him. She is not really that. Good, but we'll find something. We'll find a use. Okay, you want to see. Okay, another great officer. Just a lot of officers. And they're all willing to join. At least on paper. That reminds me of our administration. We do need to appoint a new advisor. Chia Feng is just a bit better, just a few more points. So we'll appoint him. Now it's incredible that I've been playing for five years and I still haven't leveled up once my administration. I still haven't gotten enough XP. Once we get going, it'll start to level up at a very fast rate though. So here we want to focus on strengthening our, the fish formation. Probably the best formation in the game. Probably the most balanced formation. It's just good offense, good defense. Um, and these two, I guess, I guess we'll go with these two here. But the priority is to strengthen the fish formation. I don't know if we want to do that. Train engineers, throw government. Okay. Let's check this game. Okay, we'll go ahead and do this. Kong Zun Du uh, will do that to increase the damage by buildings. So as we build arrow towers, our arrow towers will do a bit more damage. And yeah, I'm going to keep gunning up here. I don't know if they're both coming for him or not, but I'm going to keep him there. And I'm going to send them some backup as soon as these guys arrive. I'll send some gunning some backup to make sure that he doesn't uh, get himself into too tough of a spot. Okay, there's a train that I needed for the back city. I had let the morale drop way too low. Okay, now it's now it's looking a lot better. He did not accept. That sucks. That's who we needed right there. And we just weren't able to get him. Hopefully he'll come around though.
the eagle. Okay, we got one. I'm not too familiar with that officer. Tomonico. Okay, he's a good one. Okay, it looks like we're gonna get everybody but. Okay, it looks like we're gonna get everybody but the one I wanted the most. Well, that's fine. We'll, we'll keep trying to get him. Okay, this is a problem. He was able to catch up to Zhang He. Yeah, he was able to catch up to him. This is why I wanted to send Ganing out. But he was injured uh, earlier. Otherwise, I wanted Ganing to be on this front for this very reason. Because of the possibility of a water battle occurring. He has water tactics, he has navy experience. So if the roles were reversed and Ganing was on the water here, he'd be in a position to just drop a tactic right now and quickly drive off anybody trying to follow him. But he was injured, so we had to send out Zhang He and now he's caught out here. Send out some backup gunning right now. I would honestly like to send out my main warlord. Um, but because the battles are so pitched right now, we're gonna go ahead and send out Yang Liang, of course. And we're gonna send him an arrow. Fish is a great offensive and defensive formation, but it is a little bit, just just a little bit too slow compared to Arrow. And Owl, of course, everything is slow to Owl, but if you have Arrow and you need a little bit more speed, always look for that one first. Even if you have Fish. Like right now, time is kind of an issue, so I do want to send him out right now. And I want him to get there before... <laughs> Potentially both these guys get here. I'm confident Ganin can handle one unit by himself, but both he might get he might get uh, whittled down too much, and I don't want that. I want him to be able to stay out here. Okay. Right now things are things are looking pretty good. Oh. Dong Zhuo is basically fighting everyone on the continent at the same time. And it's given me a chance to... Just an opportunity, one another opportunity. A lot of lucky breaks. This whole run has just been one big lucky break. I couldn't tell you how many times I just... I just had no business existing any longer. Um, both because of the situations that just naturally occurred and because of my own mistakes. There's just been so many situations where it should have been, that should have been it. But we just keep getting lucky, so. And right now, Dong is spreading himself in all directions. He's trying to invade here. He's fighting both of us over here. He's not sending transports up here. Most of his transports are being distributed among the center. Um, which makes sense. It's a huge... I mean, this is an enormous front. Anybody who's made it to mid to late game, you know that this is an enormous front here, and it takes a lot to manage. So he hasn't really been able to send too many people up here. And that's great, because that's keeping 
that's keeping me in the game right now. This camp is gonna slow him down. I think he's gonna try to break the camp first and then march. Oh no, he's, he's going around it. Okay, I thought he was gonna try to break the camp. But... Okay, Pang Day's breaking off the pursuit. That's a shame, because if he would have followed me just a bit further, I would have been able to use a tactic. Okay, we're gonna have both our officers here attack. Healing. I think he's gotten on it. he's overextended himself big time. So we're gonna go ahead and invade and try to wipe him out quickly. some supplies we want to have a little bit of gold on hand in case we need to execute some uh, suggestions and yeah this is the situation right now um, we were out of it but Dong Zhuo's kind of tried to fight everybody all at once and he spread his forces out and that's kept us in the game. Okay, this guy talking, Zhang Ju, this is the guy who is another would-be emperor right after the Yellow Turban Rebellion. This is the only time I've seen him appear in the game, just in this DLC. <laughs> Okay, and we got this guy. This guy is gonna be key. He's a transporter. He has the trade. He's gonna speed up our supply runs. And we really needed that. That trade is key in this game. The guy who's currently holding Shu. restrain right now that'd be great so we can restrain uh, this unit running away and catch up to him I don't know if confused will lower his morale I'm gonna go ahead and try it I honestly don't remember uh, but we're gonna try it anyway try to see if it slows down his maneuver, which again I don't remember. But if it does, it'll allow us to catch up to him. Uh, our formations are the same, so we're going at the same speed right now. So the camp might also slow him down. 
because that's an enemy camp. Reward the top guy. That's probably the same noise I would make if my boss gave me an advance. Okay, we're gonna call over the transporter guy. If he's arrived, oh no, he hasn't arrived yet, but he is going to go straight there. Once he's there, our uh, transport runs will get much faster. Well, they're going to get faster in the sense that... In the sense that they're still going to feel like they take an eternity, but they are going to be cool. technically faster. You know, they're still transport unit. You know, it's still a bunch of mules and donkeys pulling everything. But it is going to, you know, it is going to be faster. <laughs> So, you should notice the difference once he starts transporting everything. But knowing the knowing the urgency that I need my that I need my things in this game, it's probably still gonna feel like too long. Oh wow! So he's deployed Machao with eleven thousand soldiers. He is. This is a huge unit. Okay. We're going to need both our guys in order to fight off the chow. I wasn't expecting that. Nanda. Yotiru. Okay, we're going to come back towards the village there. I wish I had finished building the second arrow tower because if this arrow tower was finished and also shooting between the two of them, they might have wiped them out. But it's only one arrow tower shooting at him because I wasn't able to finish the other one. Now, it was very close, but I had to start running away at, at the time. Okay, so we're going to need a suggestion here against uh, Machel. He's got 11,000 soldiers, so if we want to reduce how many casualties we take, we're going to have to get a good suggestion. We're going to have to get a confused plot, or at least a reinforcement plot for my units that are out in the field. Let's go auto search. We're going to need something there. Otherwise, he's going to inflict a lot of casualties. We'll win the fight. I'm pretty sure we'll win the fight, but he's gonna he's gonna inflict a lot of casualties. Okay, let's see if we can uh, This is the, this little tile right here is preventing us from being completely surrounded and cut off from our supply route. Ooh. So we need to uh, kick him off very quickly because if we get cut off here we'll get completely destroyed once your units are cut off from their supply route they're done that's it okay so we got it confused but we got it against the wrong unit we got a confused tactic against Pang Day. we need a plan against Machao we need a suggestion against him That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to check every turn. As this fight goes on, I'm going to keep checking. Oof, I don't know if I want to sell that many supplies. I need to turn that down a bit. I want to sell a few supplies. Okay.
Okay, so let's see how this is going to play out. Okay, so I'm expecting a duel to go off here. They're all top generals here converging. Okay, nothing against, nothing against my chow. No suggestions. Still getting suggestions against Peng Day. scary because all he needs to do is win one duel and he can turn this fight around Muko. once Ganin gets close enough we'll have him use his brocade assault okay there he is we'll have him do brocade assault That'll put his units in disorder. Twenty-five hundred men. That should seal it. There it is. Oof. Crisis averted, and we captured him. Okay, I think Wen Chao captured. Him. Let's see. Yep. Okay, Wen Chao's got him. I mean, not Wen Chao. It's uh, Yang Liang. Yang, Yil Yang Liang's got him. So we'll... he's gonna return with the prisoner. We're gonna have Ganing advance and take this village. Gonna assign an overseer again. That went about as well as it could go. We threw him in disarray, lowered his damage output, and then Yang Liang came in with the tactic afterwards, and we captured him on top of that. Sometimes it all just falls into place. Yeah. What a relief, because he had 11,000. That was, uh... For a force of our size, that's scary. 11,000 is like, that's very scary. That can wreak a lot of havoc, and especially a capable general like, uh... Like Machao. Very scary. But they handled it, so... They handled it. Okay, we're gonna wait for one more recruit and then we're gonna start sending out our new transport. Our new transport guy. And he should improve our logistics. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna see what. Okay, he has. You know, he's just a good, great officer all around. His policy is reorganize supply lines. Supply consumption of all units is decreased. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, how's this guy? He's holding the gate. This gate's basically going to fall when its durability reaches zero. I don't think he's ever going to be able to reduce the troop count. Gates are just... They're so sturdy in this game. Okay, he's sending out another unit. Hardly anything, really, 2,000 soldiers. This is, it's a bit, 
This is a bit silly. But sometimes the AI does this in this game. They'll send out these small units. Um, that aren't really capable of doing anything. And all they'll do is get wiped out. They'll just send out these small units. Uh, Romance 11 had the same problem. The AI would get locked into just sending out these very weak units against you. And you'd just be able to cut them down over and over again. And in this game, sometimes they still do that. Not all of the time. It's not as frequent. And I, I certainly don't think that there's any way to cheese it and trick the AI into sending out these small units. But they will have these fits of uh, these fits of stupidity, I guess. Well, they'll send out these little small units like this guy, two thousand men, and his target is going to be Ganing. So that's not going to go well for him. As soon as we meet, I'm just going to use my tactic and. and That'll wipe him out. So he might send more backups, though. I'm not sure. We'll see. He's got 13,000 here. Okay, he didn't send out any backups, but I'm being surrounded. Ciao. Okay, he's wounded. Let's see if we can employ him. So, okay. He's not willing to surrender. So we will just detain him. Okay, we're in trouble now. We're being surrounded. I'm gonna be cut off. We're gonna be cut off. I need to run back. I need to run back and I need support out here again. I'm gonna send out Zhang He because right now he set as an agenda so. Okay. okay, we got that. We're gonna start sending out our transport. And he's a lot faster. Uh, Earlier in the video, right here on this spot, it would take 45 days to travel to this spot. So about a month and a quarter. This guy has the transport trait, now it's down to 28 days. So he's he's cut it almost in half. Almost in half he's cut it. So it's a lot faster. I mean, yeah, 65 days. It's still going to feel like a lot, but it is a lot faster. It's going to be a key thing moving forward. Having someone with transporter and then using them correctly. Like I said in my first or second video, don't let the computer... Don't let the AI automatically auto-assign your route for you. Use your relay points to kind of shorten the path. Whenever you can, take the roads. You know, make your guys take the roads, fix the routes to speed it up. Don't let them cross mountains and stuff like that unless it's necessary. Because it's going to slow them too much. It's going to slow them down way too much. Okay, so he's on the way. We've got nice 8,000. We're really starting to get some soldiers built up finally. Um, although the battles are getting higher, the numbers are getting higher. So my advantage is really just... All I'm doing is being able to keep up with everybody else. So. I'm fielding larger armies, but uh, so are they. So. Okay, I think he wants to release. Okay, I'm gonna ask for my officer if I can. And it doesn't look like I can, so... Okay, I can't ask for my officer back, so did he join?
Okay, one Chow who was captured earlier, he must have joined because I'm not able to request him in a prisoner exchange. I don't see him on the list here though, so what is going on? I know he wasn't released. Okay, he's not here. Okay, I'm not too sure what's going on here. It seems like I can't request my own prisoner, my own general to be released for his. So I'm not gonna release him, I'm just gonna refuse. I'm just gonna refuse. I can't. I can't have my child fielded against me again. Okay, he's gonna be able to get away, just barely. I'm gonna go ahead and assault this guy while I pass by. We're just gonna take a swipe. Just a swipe. And then we're gonna keep going if we can. And that's why uh, generals like Ganning are like easily top 15, top 20 in this game. They have these powerful abilities that inflict 2k, 3k. And if you're able to keep them in the field, and maneuver him and keep him alive keep him alive in the field okay and you'll be able to just keep spamming these very hard-hitting tactics and it'll allow you to just wear down the opponent whoever you're fighting against you'll be able to wear them down okay so let's see if we can request okay so here it is I don't understand why it didn't let me request my prisoner Okay, so here's my general, who was captured by Don Juo. And for some reason, we weren't able to trade for him. I don't know why that is. I don't know why that is. It doesn't make sense to me. I know in the past games, you could trade for them. You know, I'm starting to think that wasn't ever possible in this game since launch. I don't think you could do a prisoner for prisoner exchange, actually. Now that I think about it. I don't think that was ever an option in this game. I don't know why. It was always an option in the past games. You can exchange prisoners. I mean, those are just normal rules of war. But for some reason, you can't in this game. So I wasn't able to exchange. He's got some units coming after Shenpei here. And they're just going in circles here, chasing each other back and forth. We're going to try to poach Machao if we can. We're gonna stay here for a bit. We're gonna keep both our units here. We're gonna see what Dong Zhuo does. If he does change his orders and try to come up here, I'm not too sure. Transport's going fast. I mean, honestly, it's going quicker, it's going a lot faster. It's great. Okay, we need some K 
cash. We're bankrupt here. We need some funds. We're gonna search. Everybody. You cool. Okay, let's see. Let's see what Dongshuo does. Let's see if he keeps trying his luck up here. If he comes up the valley. Ah, uh, looks like he's just going back. Oh, but he's trying his luck. And he's in ring formation. That's a very slow formation. That is a very slow formation. We're going to go ahead and attack him. This is a very bad idea for him. When Chow's had enough, he's breaking. he broke out. He's had enough. Oh, and so did Machao. Okay. Bandits are attacking again. Bandits are kind of uh, bandits are kind of frustrating. I don't really understand the logic behind them. Um, yeah, I just don't understand the logic behind them. They were trusted, so they started the game trusted, and but not in an alliance. And you couldn't. I wasn't able to ally with them. So after a period of time they just started attacking. And now our our relations are hostile. So it just feels kind of, I don't know. It just feels a little silly. just feels a little silly. I'm not sure why their AI would behave like that. I don't know if there's a good reason. There might not be a good reason. I mean, it could just be bad AI. It could be as simple as that. It could be that they're trying to capture the feeling of actual, you know, raiding uh, barbarian nations, you know, on the outskirts. You know, where just because you're friendly with them, that doesn't mean that they're going to you know, they're going to come by once in a while and pillage. Pillage your countryside. It could be that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I don't like how I wasn't able to ally with them. You know, we were in trusted relations, but I wasn't able to seal the deal and, and form an alliance with them. So that kind of makes them a non-factor. It just makes them a hindrance. And that's about it. I haven't been able to really use them or anything. Oh, I forgot to tell them to uh, march to march forward and catch this guy. I hope he doesn't turn around. That would be a lost opportunity. Oh, he is leaving. He's already leaving. Uh, I missed an opportunity there. I should have chased him down. What a blunder. What a blunder. What? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and send out Zhang Yi. Oh, you know what? We're gonna go Ganning actually. Oh, yeah. No, we're gonna send out Zhang Yi. We're gonna send Zhang Yi down to take the village and see if we can go Dong Zhuo into deploying more units. And we're gonna keep Ganning back because I don't know if Kong Zun Zhang is gonna try to cut me off again. So we're gonna encroach again. Again, again, again. <laughs> like the fifth time. We're gonna encroach carefully again, and we're gonna see. We're gonna see what he does.
I'm still not focusing too much up here. And uh, it looks like he's still trying to take over the eastern half of the Central Plains. Guan Yu's taken over leadership of this faction, so good luck to him with that. Guan Yu's got some good officers here too. So that's why he's able to hold off Dong Zhuo. Even though Dong Zhuo has a lot of the map and he has a lot of soldiers, you have to consider that when you have this large front, you can only have you're only gonna have so many top generals to deploy against each neighbor that you're trying to war against. Everybody that and everybody that you fight, they're gonna give you the cream of their crop, you know, they're gonna bring the best. So if you can't match that, you're gonna you're gonna have to make it up with numbers. So the AI is really making, and I, I guess that's just classic AI. AI is not gonna, you know, it's not gonna be that advanced at all. But that's what's happening. It doesn't. He's not able to concentrate his forces, and everywhere that he's going, he's gonna meet resistance. He's gonna meet strong resistance, and he doesn't have the officers to. He doesn't have enough officers to just be everywhere at once with the best of the best. So that's going to make factions, even smaller factions like mine, uh, Guan Yu's faction, it's going to make it easier for us to defend and fight them off. Because he's never going to be able to concentrate everything. If it was a human player, you know, if this was a multiplayer game and he was a human player, it'd be long, this would be long done. You would, you know, if it was me, I'd concentrate all my best officers on each point. I'm sure that's what most people do. Transport's getting there. Almost there. So far, nobody's deploying against me, so we're gonna go ahead and take this village and maybe push our luck some more. We're just gonna keep pushing it, you know? See if we can get somebody's attention over here. Mairo. Okay, here comes Machao again. Not 11,000 this time, just a small unit, 3,000. And that's just fine, it'll be very easy to wipe him out. Like I said, if you can afford to keep these very powerful guys, these S-tier generals on the field, building their tactics meter, anytime a small unit like this shows up, you can just unleash your tactics and quickly wipe them out. It's kind of, when, when you do it right, it's, act, it's kind of very exploitable. You know, because if the AI keeps sending out these little units, you just keep using your best tactic against them and wiping them out as soon as you, as soon as you engage. Arigatou. So, it's actually got me considering not using the agenda uh, feature anymore. Because of that, it's just too tempting to do this over and over again. And just, you know, sit your guy down, let your tactics bar fill up. You know, it doesn't matter who's coming against you because you're gonna quickly cut them down to a thousand men or less. And you're gonna mop them up right away. And it's just very easily exploitable. And, um, 
on my next playthrough I might not use it. As much as I hate just not using features, and I do, I hate not using features, I hate cutting out features, um, I might just not use it on the next one, because it's just, it's too strong uh, of a feature. You know, letting your tactics just fill up and then wiping the guy out. Oh, you can ally with the Barbarians once you get the Yu Province. Okay, so that would be Gongzun Zhang's last territory. Okay, I didn't know that. So that would explain it. Maybe that will let me um, conduct diplomacy with the Barbarians. Because so far you haven't been able to interact. Like, I haven't been able to interact with the Barbarians yet. So maybe I need the whole province. Missed my opportunity to use my attack. Okay, so let's try to confuse them. We'll try to pacify and we'll reinforce. And try to turn the situation around. I spent all that time rambling and I completely forgot to use my tactic. And, uh, and he got to use his against me. All that time talking about how exploitable that is, and I didn't, uh, I lost focus there. Oh, but yeah, I think that's what it is. Maybe I need to take Yu Province. And, um, once I take Yu Province, I'll be able to go ahead and interact with the Wu Huan. Because so far I haven't been able to interact with them. And that's been kind of a bummer because they're one of the new features in this expansion is these barbarian tribes. Okay, so we're gonna leave Zhang He here. I'm not gonna call him back just yet. I think Ganning has got this, so let's we'll see. Kipo omotishimashita. Okay, we weren't able to recover, but now we're both in this. We're both disordered, and we're able to rescue, to reinforce. I mean, okay, he's recovered. So now we're just gonna blockade assault, and that'll wipe out his unit. <laughs> And as you can see there around Ganin's icon on the right hand corner, his tactics meter just keeps charging while he's out in the field. So as long as you can afford to supply your unit, you can just let that tactics meter fill up, and the next time that a unit uh, engages, you just unleash your tactic again. And it's just very, uh, very exploitable when you have these generals who just do so much damage. Okay, we need some gold here, so we're gonna search again. guys watching live I'm gonna do about another half hour about another half hour or so and then we're gonna call it for today might do another live stream later tonight it kind of depends on the weather we've got some really we've got some really bad weather here right now so 
We might do another live stream later tonight and do another part. But for right now, we're, I'm just looking at doing another half hour. Another half hour so. Okay, he's got some volley units coming up from I don't know where. It's a bit silly. Okay, well he's here. I'm gonna go ahead and have him build an arrow tower if he can. He absolutely can. I'm gonna build an arrow tower right there. We're gonna keep gunning in the field. We're gonna let that tactics bar fill up. Whenever he commits himself to his next fight, he's going to do the same thing. He's just going to wipe out a guy. And uh, normally I wouldn't take advantage of that, but um, you know, I feel like I need all the help I can get, honestly, right now. Just to keep up with this, with this situation, I need all the help I can get. So. For my next playthrough though, I might not use the agenda feature. I might just let it go and, and whatever my officers do, that's what they do. Because having the agency over it, over what gets triggered, it's just very powerful in this game. It's too easy. I mean, with the right officers, it's too easy. And as a human player, you can create those situations. You know, you know, once you figure out the system, you know that you can create those situations where you can easily exploit some of these overpowered officers and their tactics. Okay, we need to put an overseer here. Since nobody's marching out, we might as well begin painting this color. Painting these territories green. the guy for it. He has the promoter trait. And look at this Conquer Land stat. 14 Conquer Land. Very fast. So when an officer has the promoter skill, they're able to quickly uh, suppress an area and put it under your control. You know, I don't know if we want to sell supplies here. We're kind of getting low. We've had armies on the field for a while now. This will probably be the last time I do this, and I'm gonna need to get some supplies here. I'm gonna need to do another supply run. One of the small things I wish would be nice is um, if they made it so that your supply runners got some form of experience for making supply runs. You know, not a lot, but just a little bit. You know, maybe some leadership points or something. Just something for, for doing supply runs constantly. There's an XP system in this game, it's just hidden. And it would be nice if they got a little bit of XP towards, I would think, at least their leadership. Just for completing a supply run, a transport run. Doesn't have to be a lot, doesn't have to be, you know, something that you can stack or anything like that. But just, just something, you know, that's, you know, hey, this guy uh, was in charge of transporting these valuable supplies, and he did his job. Uh, he crossed through these mountains next to these very dangerous barbarians and he still completed his run. You know, he's a good carrier. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and send. Actually, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. We're gonna let them get into arrow tower range. I don't wanna jump the gun and charge ahead. So we're gonna let we're gonna let Jang He stay there. We're gonna have Ganing move up just a bit. Okay. 
Okay, so they marched all the way out and now they're going all the way back. I have no idea what this AI is doing. I don't understand it at all. It looked like they were... They were gonna contest me here. Oh, over this ford. This little ford village. But, uh... He's completely pulled his units away. Machao's leaving. Pang Day's heading in the other direction. I don't even know who's staying back to defend here. Machao's not here and he's the recruiter. Oh, uh, let's see. Dong Zhu, of course, is here. Oh, he's still got some good officers. He can still deploy some fighters. Still, we might have to attack here. I'm gonna go ahead and move up some more and capture this town. We're just gonna move the front lines up a little bit more. Keep an eye on Gong Zhang. Jang, make sure he doesn't try to cut me off again. Yeah, we're gonna raise Yankee's morale. It was dropping. We're gonna search. Try to find some gold. Let's keep moving forward. We're gonna keep encroaching on his territory and try to get some attention here. Because he is not giving us any attention. We're like the middle child right now. Nobody's paying us any attention, so we gotta make some noise. Reports say Wu Huan is advancing, so okay, Wu Huan's deployed again. This is just kind of silly, you know, they don't even attack you with a sizable force. It's just. I don't know. I don't know, I don't have a lot of good things to say about it so far. Hopefully, once I capture Yu Province, um. Fortunate warfare, like you were saying, once I capture you, province, I'll be able to, um, I'll be able to deal with them. <laughs> to conduct and work out some kind of alliance with them or something, because right now they're just an annoyance. And that's it. Like, um, they're no different than in Romance 9, the first game that used the barbarian, the large barbarian nations. Oh. They're just an annoyance. Oh, they're just, concept is cool and everything, but the execution right now is just very annoying. At least with, with the Wu Huan up here in the north. I don't know anywhere else. You know, if anyone else has already played with one of the other factions around the other barbarians, I'd be curious to know how it went for you. I know there's one up here. There's the Kuyang over here. There's the Nanman in the south. And there's the Shen Yu over here. So if anyone's had any interactions with the barbarians already, um, just let me know. Because I'd be really interested to know if you've had a better experience or, or what you could do with them, honestly. Because right now they've just been a thorn in my side. And that's been it. They haven't really done it much else. They just 
this is it. They just deploy a small unit, and that's all. You're going south to Wu. Well, that means you're gonna deal with the Shan Yu. Well, maybe, hopefully, you can um, trade or barter with them or something. And they don't just spend all their time harassing you. Oh, we've got volunteer soldiers. Again, that's great. It's been a while since we have any volunteers. I guess that means the people are starting to believe in us again. They're starting to believe in us. They're starting to think that we can make something happen. That's good. That's great. They have a little bit of confidence. We're not hurting for officers anymore, but having a few more is not going to hurt either, so. Okay, we're going to search. Auto search. And then if Dongjuo lets us stay here, we're going to go ahead and take another city. And I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to keep taking his cities until he does something. Until I get some kind of response out of him. I'm also wondering if all the barbarians have the same personalities or if they're gonna have slightly different personalities like um, they tried to do with the warlords. I'm feeling like they're all probably gonna be the same AI. Because their their situation is unique, they have their own special rules, so they're probably all going to operate under the same kind of uh, AI script. But hopefully not. Hopefully they have at least a few tweaks and differences. Okay, he's still not marching out. So, we're gonna take the next city. He's still not marching out, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the next one. I'm just gonna keep surrounding him. Gunning's gonna stay right here. He's gonna watch our exit, our escape route. Once I capture this town, then I can make my escape route through the ocean again. You know, one big circle. If I need to. But we're gonna try to take this, we're gonna try to build on that land too. So when he comes to take these cities back, whoever comes to take these cities back, they're gonna have to deal with the arrow towers. They're going to have to deal with that annoyance. Mm 
出発いたします。Oh wow, this battle over here is just picking up speed. The gate is still holding, and it's probably gonna keep holding. So. Jack Fei is holding the gate. He's gonna destroy that catapult. That siege engine is gonna fall apart if it's in front of Jack Fei like that. He's gonna be able to hold the gate. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close, but he might lose the gate. And once, uh, once Ding Huan, this force here, loses the gate, he's gonna have an open road to his city. So that's gonna be trouble for us. He's gonna be one step closer to eliminating one of his uh, fronts. That he has to deal with. Right now, he's dealing with three of us. If he's only got to deal with two of us, that's going to make it that much harder for us to do anything about it. Okay, it looks like he's deploying some people. Eight thousand. So I'm going to go ahead and bring Gunning in as backup. And I'm going to deploy a third unit to watch Gong Zun Jiang. So we're really gonna. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna have to give him the title. We're really gonna stretch our. Uh, we're really gonna stretch our fronts here. I was able to repair relations with Gong Zun Jiang. This wouldn't be necessary, but because I'm at war with both of them, I need a unit here in the valley, watching his movements, so that these guys are free to operate in this theater right here. The transport hasn't even arrived, but we already got a batch of men ready. We've got 6,000 conscripts already ready to go. And that means that our barracks are finally starting to stack up. We're starting to outpace our transport unit in terms of soldiers that are ready to move in. So that's a good sign. That's a very good sign. It means our economy is finally getting up to speed. It took like five years in game time, which is ridiculous. It shouldn't take anywhere near this long. Okay, as soon as Dong Zhuo engages, he's cut off our supply. That is not good. But we're going to go ahead and attack him. Yeah, unfortunately, Zheng He's been cut off. So we're in a tough spot. Holding the gate. I hope he holds that gate. I need him to hold that gate because if he, once that gate falls, he's going to send those troops right back over. He's going to send those officers right back over. So I need... 
Gunning's got to reestablish our supply. He's got to repaint these tiles. Magazine. Oh yeah. I need to get Wen Chao out here. Yeah, do can. He's gonna cover our retreat. If Gonzo Jeng starts attacking. Wen Chao is just gonna help cover our retreat. However, however this goes, if we have to fight our way back, at least we'll have Wen Chao to help drive off the enemy. Because the worst thing that can happen is that we all get caught right now. We get stranded and we get caught and captured. Okay, let's see what we can do. Try to confuse Dong Zhuo? Absolutely. We'll try to pacify, confuse. Reinforce. Try to do everything we can to save our general here. Eat the good. Okay, let's hope we can get him out of his, uh, his panic at least. Okay, they've recovered, that's good. <laughs> Dong Zhou's been thrown into disorder. And we've reinforced. Perfect. Okay, we need Ganning to reestablish our supply line. He's almost there. Koreo. Jin Jang is not marching against us, he's completely complacent. Nanka Yuga. Okay, we're gonna sell a few supplies and we're gonna start transporting. Oh, our transport. Okay. Our transport general is not here yet. He's not back, I'm assuming. No, he's not back. He's got a little ways to go before he returns. So we're gonna wait for him. It's, it's still much faster to wait for him and have him take charge of the transport than to send the guy out now. It would still be faster. That's how much of a difference this trait is going to make. Okay, I'm still not used to the auto search. Okay, there we go. Are well, we going to do a search? I'm going to hope that he's holding the gate here. It looks like he's going to be able to hold it, barely. Jewel's got help. He's got backup coming to help him out. But that's fine. I think we can handle this. We just can't handle Gongzun Jiang right now. We can't, en we can't handle uh, Orange entering the fray. If he enters this fight, we're going to have to uh, get out. Okay, our supplies have been reestablished. Oh no, we're gonna be cut off again. Oh, we've been cut off. Oh man. Baited. Oh no. 
<laughs> totally baited and stranded. Oh man. We're in trouble now. We're in trouble now, big time. Okay, let's see if we have funds. Okay, maybe we can recover our units. Ghanin's unit. Pacify, okay, great. Let's try to pacify. Okay, we have a decision here. We can abandon. We can abandon this invasion. Well, this encirclement. We can run. Take the straights and get out of here. Or, I can commit Wen Chao, send him down the valley, and try to reestablish our supply lines. If I do that, I'm not going to have a reserve to prevent Kong Jun Jeng from advancing. So, this is pretty risky, but it's also really interesting. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to send Wen Chao down the valley and he's going to try to establish, re-establish our supply network. He's going to attack Ma Teng. We're going to have Zheng He attack this guy. And we're going to see if we can reconnect everything. I don't think he has the soldiers. I don't think he has many more soldiers to put into this fight. Well, actually, he's going to have Pang Dei coming back over here. But he's in goose formation. This is a very slow formation. Maneuverability is 12. So it's going to take him a while before we have to really think about him. Maybe two turns. So let's see if we can reestablish this. Let's appoint an overseer. Should have done that already. Okay, our transport guy is back. I'm gonna see if we can buy some food. Okay, we're gonna buy some food and we're gonna send out another transport. Some soldiers, of course. A little bit of gold. We don't want to bankrupt the town because then the town can't keep supplying us. We need to leave enough so that they can keep recruiting and their economy can keep flowing. Look out, Oshio. Okay, let's check our suggestions one more time. We can confuse, we can restrain. Well, we can attempt them. The success rate is pretty low. I'm gonna go ahead and try to re I'm gonna raise morale. And we'll try to restrain my time. And we're gonna search. Because we need money. We need to keep a stockpile of cash so that we can keep doing these um, suggestions. You cool. Suggestions are... Another thing that are kind of overpowered, but they do drain your treasury very quickly. So, okay, morale's been refilled. Restrain failed. That's okay. It was worth a shot. As soon as we engage, we're gonna try to... Oh, his tactics aren't ready, okay. Okay, this is a tough fight. They're completely stranded. Their morale is just draining and draining and draining. You saw I just raised Zhang He's morale to 100. It's already dropped back down to 83. 
The morale is plummeting. The longer they're without their right. supply route, the long, the faster the morale is going to drop. So, again, this isn't really optimal. Optimally, I think you would just withdraw. But it's worth the gamble. You know, it's worth it just to do, just to see what happens. He's still, at least, his backup is still another turn away, at least, from being too close to where I have to worry about what Peng Day is going to do. So, I don't think we can do too much this turn. We don't have any cash. We don't have any cash. We can't sell. We're just going to search. Okay, here comes Dong Juo. Okay, Zhang, he's been wiped out. We're gonna try to have Ganeng rock Hate Assault and see if he can wipe out Ma Teng and at least free Zhang He. Before Dong Zhuo wipes out Ganeng, it looks like he's gonna take him out. Okay, he got him. Okay, here comes Dong Zhuo. And he's got the advantage. He's got the advantage because, again, Ganing is stranded. Supplies are low. Morale's plummeting. Okay, he's still pretty far. Uh? I'm gonna go ahead and commit one chow. Uh! We still don't have any gold. Administration, what is this about? Yeah, Okay, let's see if we can get there and save him. I hope so. Hopefully he can route Dong Juo. Okay, well, let's try to confuse him. Let's try to confuse Dong Zhuo. Just to nullify any damage that he's gonna inflict. And after this, we're gonna start withdrawing. And, um, let's see. Let's do one more turn. One more turn before we call it here. Arigato, yeah. you. 
Yeah, see if that works gifting them. If that will put them off so that they don't attack as often. Because them attacking is just... It's very annoying. You know, it's it's a raid. I mean, that's, a, that's what it does. It screws up with your economy. It makes your tiles neutral. And, um... It just messes up. Just, it's an annoyance. I'm hoping that there will be a way to establish enough relations so that they can help you. But so far, I haven't seen a way to do that. So we're just going to do this turn and then... See. Oh wow, Machao just threw, just threw my general into disorder. And he's in danger now of being, in danger of having himself be cut off, supply line wise. So, just deja vu. I'm gonna try to get him to withdraw. Whoops. I want to withdraw, as best he can. Okay, and let's see, the transport is on the way, it's almost here. Arigato you. Oh, okay, and I think we will end it there for now. Uh, like I said, might do another stream later tonight. Uh, if I do do another stream, it'll be 9 o'clock. So, 9 p.m. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Enjoyed the content. Uh, if you like it, head on over to my YouTube. Give me a like. Give me a view. If you can, I just started the channel. So, if you know anybody who's interested in this gameplay, you know, just pass the, pass the word along. I don't... There's not too much content for this game, so... Um... Trying to do my part to get it out there. So again, uh, if I don't stream tonight, it'll probably be a few days. But uh, we'll see. So again, thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.